what's up guys it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel so for today's video um, I thought that I would share with you guys my current favorite makeup products the things that I have been loving recently and reaching for non-stop but I wanted to put a little spin on it and instead of just doing you know just talking through it I wanted to actually do a tutorial using my current favorites so today I'll be doing a full face using my current makeup favorites and I think I have a favorite for almost everything I feel like the only thing that I don't really have a favorite for is my lips but I think other than that I pretty much have like a favorite foundation favorite highlighter favorite skincare etc etc so just going ahead and hopping into the look um first up before i even do my makeup i always want to do like some kind of skin prep and my current favorite recently has been the charlotte tilbury magic cream all over and the eye rescue now if y'all follow me on instagram you guys know that i recently mentioned how much i love the eye rescue yes it is expensive so you don't have to tell me about how expensive it is however some things you guys are just worth the price and this in my opinion is worth the 60 bucks it's 60 dollars, so it is a bit pricey but let me just show you guys what like how it just transforms your face so first going in with the magic cream and this is also probably one of the best moisturizers I have ever used and the reason why I love these two here in particular is because they don't just deeply hydrate like these are probably the most moisturizing products I have ever used they literally quench the skin but not only do they hydrate they also transform the look of your skin and that's something that I don't find very often just the way it makes your skin look completely transformed so first going with the magic cream which is the white one and with this little bit goes a long way I'm just applying this all over and oh my gosh you guys it makes your skin literally just feel instantly different and to me this is the perfect product to use as a base for your foundation because it just it makes your skin feel so soft and smooth and you can tell that's like seeping into your skin but it also makes your skin look nice and glowy and just again instantly transformed and then I'm gonna do the eye cream now this stuff okay so I'll put a little bit under here and a little under here and with this a little bit goes a long way so I just take it and massage it in and you guys see how just instantly it just makes you look nice and wide and awake and just it just makes your I don't know I don't know how to describe it but it just makes your skin overall look completely different okay so now back to the brows you guys know first up I always do my brows and I'm sure you all can guess what my current favorite is but my current favorite brow products are the covergirl micro brow pencil and I do use two shades so I use the shade soft brown and the shade honey brown so I take the shade honey brown and then I'll just lightly line the top and bottom of my brows okay and just fill them in then of course brush them out okay and then there is brow one and then what I do is that once I you know brush it out I'll just go in with the shade soft brown and just look for any areas that may be a little bit more color you know that may be a little sparse and just take soft brown and just fill those areas in and I just use a little bit of this see just a little bit okay and there is brow one and the reason why I love these brow pencils in particular is just because honestly first of all I love the shade range of these like I like that the like I like that they have a variety of browns as you know how most companies how they'll just do like a brunette and then like a really dark brown and blonde like I feel like cover girl in particular they did a really good job of picking the different shades of brown and I really do like that all right guys so I went ahead and cleaned up my brows I just went ahead and cleaned them up with my all-time favorite MAC studio finish concealer in the shade NC42 um I'll just show you guys on camera but to be honest it's I I've been using this <laughs> for years so it's not really a new favorite so I just went ahead and skipped that part but you guys got the gist again so you have the covergirl micro brow pencil on the eyes and then I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my lids, of course, with my MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. Again, this isn't new, but it is definitely a favorite. It's like an all-time favorite for me. Just blending this into the crease. I don't know, this product here 
just does such a good job of keeping my shadow intact. Again, creature of habit here. So like it's, you know, it works. So why not just stick with it? Okay, now I didn't know if I wanted to do my skin first and then my eyes last. But I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking of doing that way. You guys, typically I'll do my eyes first and my skin last. But honestly, don't quite know what I want to do on the eyes yet. So I'll just go ahead and move on to the face and then think about it while I'm doing my makeup look. So my next current favorite is going to be, it's actually more of a newbie, but it's something that I instantly fell in love with. And that is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Correct in, or Contour and Correct Expert Cream Palette. Now, how often do you guys find a cream palette in the drugstore? A good one. Hardly ever. But this one here, this little bad boy here is really, really nice. And I like that the shades are woman of color friendly. So I use this more so for spot correcting. I mean, I personally wouldn't hide with this. I don't think it has that great a cover. Like, it's not, you know, full coverage for like a full on hide and contour. Um, I'm sure I could contour with it, but I wouldn't hide with it. I use it more so for just color correcting. So like right here under my eyes and here on my cheek area. I'll just take my finger, take a little bit of my shade, which is kind of a mixture of these three here, and then kind of just color correct under my eyes. And guys, just look at the difference here. No color corrector, color corrector. You guys see how it instantly changes my face just by applying a little bit of color corrector on my face. So I've been doing this recently in terms of just like, again, like those no makeup makeup days where I don't want to put anything on. I just take my magic cream, my eye cream, a little bit of this and just apply it and literally be good to go. Other side. It just does such a good job of just evening me out. And a little bit down here. And it's really nice and creamy as well. And I'm doing this before foundation just because if I kind of correct it before the foundation, that'll allow me to use less foundation whenever I actually do go in with the foundation. So see, I'm pretty much nice and covered up there, but now, okay. So this is gonna work get tricky because I actually have three current favorite foundations. So first up is going to be my Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation. This foundation is amazing. I have been loving this one because it gives great coverage, but it also makes my skin look like skin. You guys know that I have been on a skin finish kick lately. Like, like I want everything to look as natural as possible, even though I do have on a full face of makeup. And this one right here does just that. So this is what I reach for. This is my Lancome. Of course, you guys know I love my Lancome foundation. But this is my Lancome I reach for on those days where I really want to look really nice and glam and full coverage but without looking cakey or like I'm doing too much at all because it literally just sits on your skin and like just it looks like butter honestly so I have been loving this one for more of a full glam but natural finish for those more natural days where I want to like do a quick beat and like I want to just look decent <laughs> and put together I'll reach for my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick now this one here I love as well I just feel like this one is just amazing for a quick application because it's stick form you supply it blend it in and you're good to go and then lastly again a new newbie that I've been loving is the CoverGirl matte ambition foundation and I've been using the shade tan golden now I love this one because it is a matte foundation, but it's not super drying. And whenever it dries down, it doesn't look, it it still looks natural, if that makes sense. Now, this one here is good at keeping my oil intact, so that's why I do like it. And the finish of it is just, again, like with the Too Faced, it's very, very, very skin-like. Before I go ahead and apply my foundation, I'm going to apply a little bit of primer to my T-zone. And you already know what this is. This is the Becca Ever Matte Primer. You guys, duh. <laughs> I just feel like primer, a good primer is just such a good investment. Like, it's just some things that to me that you just can't skip on. And primer is one of them. And with my pores, I'm taking the Tarte Clean State Primer. And I apply that right here in those lower areas of my cheek. Just to fill in those pores. And with this step, once I apply the Clean Slate Primer... I actually just like to press it into those pores because it really fills it up or fills, you know, the pores in that way. So primers, matte primers on, the pore primers on. So for foundation, I'm thinking of just doing my Too Faced foundation just because, again, like I have been reaching for this for those full glam looks. So 
a little bit on the back of my hand. And in this foundation, I'm the shade Maple. Okay, taking my Morphe M439 brush and a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, just blending this in. And you guys, just watch how it blends in, but it still looks like skin. Like, just watch. And this is kind of where that magic cream and that eye rest, you kind of come in. Because even though like we've applied foundation, you kind of see how here, how it still has a little bit of glowiness. Not really glowiness, but it still has a little bit of, I guess, glowiness to it. That is coming from that magic cream and that eye rescue because since our skin was so moisturized ahead of time, whenever we applied the foundation on top of it, it kind of just settled in really nicely. Alrighty, now on to concealer. I do have two favorites. I'm sure you guys can guess that one of my favorites is going to be the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. In my opinion, this is, if not the best, one of the best drugstore concealers, hands down. I, 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 like, I can't get enough of it. Like, I need to get another one really soon because I'm already down, <laughs> down to this much left. I love this stuff. Talk about full coverage concealer. And I don't know, just the cushion application. You see how you kind of apply it with the cushion point. It's just amazing. And I am in the shade Golden, perfect for my skin complexion. So aside from this one, I also have been loving the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm in the shade Warm Sand. And I've been using this one kind of like for the same reason why I like the foundation itself. Is it because it gives me, this is definitely full coverage as well, but it gives me a very nice natural finish, if that makes sense. So it still looks like skin. I am going to go in with this one here today because I haven't used this one as much on camera as I have the other one. Just applying this. And I love this shade because the shade is bright enough to brighten up my under eye area without looking too overdone. Okay, so I've applied that and it's going in and blending it up or out with a beauty sponge. And you see it's blended out really, really easily. I also like this one because it doesn't dry fast at all. And it doesn't really dry down super matte either. Like once I go in on it, set it, of course it'll be, you know, matte. But it doesn't really dry down super dry and matte looking, which I like. Okay, now to set that area, of course you guys know how much I love, love, love the RCMA. No color powder. It is definitely a fave of mine like an all-time fave of mine I love 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 this one but I'm gonna change it up and go with the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder now I have been loving this one for under the eyes just because it really makes my under eyes look nice and bright and awake and I don't know like what exactly is in it but it has these particles that actually kind of gives my under eye area a little bit of I don't want to say shimmer because it's not really shimmery but it just, it just really softens that area, if that makes sense. It really blurs it all together. And they have this white translucent one. And they also have a deeper one for deeper skin tones. So they have, this is number one, and they have the number two. Um, only thing about the number two for me is that it's actually a little bit too dark for my under eye area. So if I actually use it, it actually ends up toning down my highlight, which I don't really want. So that's why I don't use the shade number two. And I think this powder was actually created just to be used under, under the eyes. I apply it everywhere. <laughs> everywhere I just set the high, I just use this powder. Go to, kind of does all the same thing to me, but I believe it was created just for under the eye area. And another fave of mine is also that I didn't mention in this video is also the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powders. Those are also really, really good as well for setting under the eye. Like I thoroughly enjoy those. So that is setting my under eye area. Next up is going to be my contour. And I'm sure you guys can guess this as well, but this is going to be the Haley's Beauty Foundation Stick. Now this right here has been my new favorite contour stick. And you guys know I typically don't tend to cream contour. Like I feel like I barely did it last year like at all. But I have recently fallen in love with it because of this baby right here. And I think it's because of the particular shade of this and also how creamy this product is. It makes it super, 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 super easy to blend out. So I'll just apply this, my cheekbones, my forehead. And I typically don't do my nose. Like I will every now and then, but for the most part, it can, the nose can get pretty messy like really quickly and I don't have the time for it. <laughs> so I'll just cream contour my forehead and my cheekbones and then just do powder, bronzer, or contour on my nose. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild stippling brush. This is like a dollar at the drugstore. And then just blend this out. 
And see how this instantly, it just instantly blends out. I think it's just because of how easy it is to use. Because my biggest thing with cream contour, why I never do it, is because it just, I just feel like it was just an extra step that just took way too much time. But this is so easy and quick to blend out that it's like, why not? And then going with the leftover on the brush and just kind of applying it to my nose. And that is my contour or bronzer, whatever you want to call it. Now, you guys know I typically always do, for the most part, I do my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. That is a forever holy grail. Like, I just can't get enough of that. Like, once it runs out, I always go buy a new one because I love it that much. And it also, that powder in particular is a fave because, again, of that skin-like finish. It just gives me a really nice, natural finish. However, I have recently discovered the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Foundation Powder. And this is in the shade Tan Golden. To me, I love it because it gives really nice coverage, again, but it looks like skin. But it doesn't look cakey or heavy at all. I also love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. This is also one of my um, drugstore OGs that I love for setting all over the face. And it's also really small and compact, so it's really good for traveling. You guys know how much I love, love, love the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW48. Specifically this shade for my bronzer. I use it all the time because I love it. It just adds some nice warmth to my skin um, without, it looking, without it looking like I have contour on, if that makes sense, or bronzer on. Recently, I have fallen in love with that same CoverGirl Full Spectrum Powder, but here's a deeper one here. Now, this one here does add, you know, some nice warmth to the skin, but again, it doesn't look like you have a lot on. So, let's take it and just tap it. And you see, it instantly warms up my forehead. So, it's just some really, really nice natural warmth there without it getting too crazy. And then you can't forget your nose. I'm going to take a, just a slanted brush if I can find it. And then just chisel this nose. For blush, I have been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cocktail Party Blush Trio. This one here, I just, <laughs> I just love it. You guys also know that I love the Milani Coral Cove Blush. I just tend to like more of these like lighter, more coral tone blushes. But this one here is just like an instant fave of mine. And kind of just mix all three of them, honestly. And just pop this on my cheeks. Okay, and then for the highlight, I actually have like two new favorite high products. So first up is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlight. This one here, you guys, since I bought it back in December, I have been using this bad boy nonstop. I mean, just look at how gorgeous it is. It's like it gives you just the right amount of shine with like no work at all. You don't have to brush your brush, none of that. So let's take it. Look how intense it is. It's so intense. So intense, but it's so gorgeous. So that one I have been loving. And then more recently, I have discovered... For drugstore options, I have discovered the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Sculpt Expert Palette. Now, you might think that this little bad boy is just, you know, it's just like a regular, regular, schmegular highlight. But baby, these little drugstore highlights are amazing. Like, just watch. Just watch. Okay. Just watch. Look. Y'all. I'm telling, this is just probably one of the most intense, if not the most intense drugstore highlight I have ever tried out. It's so intense. And I love this highlight here because it's not really powdery. It actually has more of like a velvety, buttery finish, which I love. So it's really easy to use. So I went ahead and added a little bit of that powder again under my eyes just to catch the shadow fallout just in case I have any. Now as far as palettes go, I honestly haven't found a new favorite. I've been using the same ones that I've been loving over and over again. So you guys know I love the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. It's a fave. I've also been loving the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. I've been loving the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I've been loving these two here, the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss and a Ring the Alarm palette. Like I've just been loving kind of the same four or five palettes and using those over and over again for my looks. You guys probably can tell that in my videos. Uh, I'm thinking about just using the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. I thought I used one of these, but I think I'm just doing this one here because I feel like I don't use it enough on camera. Okay, so just going into the Like a Boss palette, I'm gonna take the shade Surf. 
and apply that in my crease. It's a really pretty reddish brown shade. And I guess just gonna talk about why I love this one and the other one, just because you guys know me, I just love good quality palettes. Palettes that don't have a lot of crazy fallout, palettes that, you know, have good color payoff, palettes that blend out really easily, just palettes that are really easy to work with. And the ones I mentioned previously all do just that. Oh, and of course I've also been loving the Laura Mercier Caviar's Eye Stick Shadows. And I almost pulled those out for this video, but I've used those in the past like two videos. So I'm trying to like not use those again, even though those are probably like one of my favorite things to use because they're just so, <laughs> they're just so bomb. Okay, now going in with the shade Snatched up here, which is that chocolate brown. And actually going on a different brush, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one here. This is a Morphe M514 brush. And again with that shade Snatched, just applying Snatched in the crease. Sorry y'all, I just realized you all weren't zoomed in, so I apologize. But I mean, the first color was just applied all over the crease, so that was pretty easy to do. So now just applying the shade Snatch right in the crease. Like you guys see how pigmented these are and how easy they are to work with? I love it. And just applying it in the crease and just blending it out in circular motions. And then a clean brush and just blending out those harsh lines, like right in there. I think I'm going to take this really pretty green, which is this shade here, which is the shade Girl Crush. I think I'm going like that, because I feel like I haven't used that before in a look. That's so pretty. Woo, and so pigmented. You guys, look at that green. You see, this is why I love that palette, because the mattes are amazing and the metallics are amazing. Y'all see how pretty that is? Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Okay, and then to smoke out the outer corner just a little bit, I'm gonna take this shade. I actually made it the shade Royal here. This is a really pretty deep green, like a really dark teal green, and then the shade Inspo, which is just a matte black. Just to kind of smoke out those outer corners. So, so taking Royal first and blending it into Curl Crush. So I'm packing it on and then just blending it in towards that color. You guys see? Again, Royal. And then taking the shade Inspo, it's a matte black, I'm packing that on there as well. And don't worry, I will go in, you guys, and blend this all together. Taking a tiny blending brush like this, and just blending everything out. Because I don't want there to be any harsh edges. And just adding just a bit more of Girl Crush right in the center. I thought that looks so unique. What do you guys think? Yay, nay. It's very, very, very different. But I like it. Okay, and then for lips, I'm gonna take one of my OG favorites, which is the MAC Chestnut Liner. So apply this to my lips. And then, Taking my, which honestly, I don't really have any new favorite lipsticks. I feel like the only like favorite favorite I have is my, uh, this has been my favorite for a while. It's the More Creamer Please lipstick from Dosa Colors. I just, I just can't get enough of it. And I feel like with this eye, we definitely need a nude lip. So taking this, and applying this to my lips. Okay, so for eyes, I'm gonna take a liner from my current favorite liner collection, which is the Urban Decay Glide on Pencils. I've mentioned these before over and over again, but these pencils here are just amazing. The pigment in them, especially in the waterline, is just amazing. I love the color range, and they wear, they literally last and wear all day. So that's why I love it. They're waterproof, they're bomb. I'm gonna take this one here. This is a shade Overdrive. It's really pretty green. And apply this in my waterline. Yeah, you see how easy it is to work with? 
pigmentation and payoff is just insane with these. See, just look with just liner, we got that. Isn't that crazy? Okay, and then taking a pencil brush and going with back with that same Violet Voss palette, gonna take this shade Royal, which is when we applied in the outer corners. And just smudge that liner out with that shadow. Okay, and to even now, I'm gonna go back in with the shade Surf, just this really pretty reddish brown, and just kind of smudge it out. It's gonna fade into that color. Okay, I'm just taking a little hint of Girl Crush and applying that, which of course is a lime green color, and applying that right in the center. Just kind of mimic the top, you know? So I'm just cleaning up the sides of my nose. I got a little bit of that green color, like the shadow on the sides here and kind of blended it out by accident. So I'm kind of just setting it again with that translucent powder, kind of camouflage it. But the eye look, you guys, I'm loving. Like it's so different, <laughs> but I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some falsies off camera. I honestly don't really have a new pair of favorite falsies. I kind of rotate styles and brands, so I don't really have a favorite for that. But I will say though that my current brands is going to be the INV uh, Foss Lash Collection. I get these from a local beauty supply store. They're really expensive. I think this one here is like four bucks. Really cheap and good. Um, I also love the Kiss, the Kiss brand. Like here are two styles here that I got from them. This is the Pompadour style and this is the page boy style so i love these you can get these at like walmart target wherever but these are good and inexpensive um and i have other brands as well so i keep it really cheap and simple with my lashes i'll just do like either walmart brand target brand ulta brand or a local beauty supply store brand that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and pop on some falsies off camera and then i'll come back to you guys with the final look all right guys so i went ahead and popped on some falsies off camera um i also went ahead and applied some mascara to my top and bottom lashes but i wanted to just quickly mention my current favorite mascaras so for my lower lash line, I have been loving the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. Actually, I apply a little bit of this on my top and bottom. This mascara here does an excellent job of separating and elongating my lashes. It makes them look like they're falsies, honestly, or like extensions. They This does such a great job. And then for my top lashes, I have been loving the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I love this one because it really adds volume. Like these two right here do two different things. This one right here is really good for separating and elongating. This one right here adds extreme volume and makes them look really nice and full and flirty. So like this one for the top lashes and this one for the top and the bottom, but really for the bottom. Okay, I also wanna go ahead and apply a little bit of my forever favorite, the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to my brows. You guys know, I know the drill. So a really light layer of mascara just to create those nice natural brow strokes. This is like a holy grail right here. And then on this eye here, I did blend out the upper portion of my eye here a little bit more with that shade Swerve, which was the really pretty burnt, you know, reddish orange shade. I feel like it wasn't quite cohesive, so I went ahead and blended that out a bit more. Going back into that same bronze flame palette from CoverGirl. Again, you guys, I love, love, love this one. And it's popping. It's a nice shimmer shade right there in the inner corner. I feel like this look, even though it looks good just as is, I feel like a gloss would like really set it off. So I have been loving two different nude glosses lately. The first one is the J Manual Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Desire. It's like a really pretty nude golden lip gloss. So it actually applies like a metallic. It has a very pretty metallic finish. It's gorgeous. And then you guys know I have been, this has been my ride or die for months now. It's the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Midnight Cowgirl. And I have been loving this one. So I think I'll do the J Manual Beauty today. Just kind of give me more of that metallic finish. So you guys just watch this. Just, just watch, just watch. Look. Oh, it's so hurty. So stinking hurty. Like, see how... 
it's like a really pretty light gold color. That's why I love it. Okay, and then the last thing, the fourth and last thing is going to be to set the entire look with my OG favorite setting spray of all time, which is a MAC Fix Plus spray. So close my eyes. And just let it soak all in. I love this look. I love the highlight. I love the skin. I love the eyes. You guys, I'm telling you, these favorites here are like game changers. I'm telling you all. And again, I love that Violet Voss palette because as you guys have seen throughout my videos, that's a palette that I can use over and over and over again and create tons of new looks. Okay, so I did mention about, of course, my favorite lipstick is the more Kimmer Please lipstick from Dose the Colors. But I did also want to quickly note lipsticks I have been loving lately. So I have been loving the All May Matte Lipsticks. I have a bunch of them, but they're the All May Lip Vibes Lipsticks. And they're really cheap. They're really, really good quality. And I also have been loving the Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. Again, I have a bunch of these, but these are probably the most travel-friendly, compact, easy to use, just lipsticks ever. So I love these as well. All right, you guys, so that is it for my full face of my current makeup favorites. As you all can see, it was a nice mix of high end and low end. Let me know down below what is your current favorite makeup product. It could be something I've used before that I have used myself or something that it's brand new because I love, love, love hearing about new good products. So let me know what is your current favorite makeup product um, and just, you know, share with me and, you know, the fellow fam, y'all. Um, also, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.